Hello, hello, amazing people. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I opened this channel for the sole aim of sharing my life, you know, how I do the things I do and the things I do to show you the world or everything about me. So I think I've been living short of that uh, expectation. So from now on, I want to be living up to it to show you my everyday life, how we do things from my own ends. Okay, so guys, today I have a very interesting topic for us. Yes, and uh, this is where I also share useful tips that can help us as well. So, I need you to join me as I go into the main place. So, I want to be sharing with you five ways in which we can make our cooking gas last longer. I think this is a problem in every home. So, please, I want to be sharing with you because I've made a discovery. And I've discovered five ways, so I want to share with you my amazing family. So I need you to join me in the kitchen. So, okay, so this is my kitchen. So I welcome you to my kitchen. This is where I want to be showing you the practical of what I have for us. Okay, so cooking gas is common in many homes. Okay, and the rate at which the cooking gas is expensive, guys, and the way it finishes in time. Hey, it's so alarming. So I've been able to discover some ways in which we can actually make our cooking gas last a bit longer so i want to be sharing with you i need you to stay true to the end of the video because i'll be leaving you a bonus at the end so please i need you to give this video a thumbs up because you'll actually learn something from it so stay true to the end so guys number one number one way is this you know if you look at every gas cooker they they come with different burners right you can see you can see this one is a smaller one, this one is small, and this one is a big one. So, when you are cooking and you want your gas to last longer, it is better and uh, wiser for you to make use of, if you are making use of a small burner like this, please use a small pot for it. And if you are also making use of a, a, a larger burner, please make use of a bigger pot for it so imagine how using this small burner now you use a pot that's as big as this on this small burner it, it will need more heat for it to be able to penetrate a big pot like this so why not it don't you think it is better you use this big pot if you have to cook with a big pot like this you use it on a big burner and it helps your cooking to be faster and it saves your gas okay so that is number one of uh, the way in which our cooking gas can last longer. So number two on my list is this. Now, many people make use of their cooking gas from January to January. They don't maintain a good maintenance culture. No. You have to maintain a good maintenance culture. What do I mean by that? Always inspect your your cooker inspect your cylinder you know always check it for leakages always check for blockages you know many people can just be using their cooker they don't know that it's leaking the cylinder is leaking so it is best you maintain a good maintenance culture you check it and also clean your cooker well because just as you are cooking uh, oil drops so so spillage, spillage right things will spill on the cooker and if it is oil it gets into the burner so it will now cause give a problem inside the burner imagine oil going into the burner direct so it will start giving you problems so always have a good maintenance culture okay so that is for number two now number three is this no number three okay so guys sorry for that uh the Number three thing on my list is four. Number four on my list is it is best to use metal pots and pans. You know, like metal, metal like metal pots and pans, like stainless steel pots like this, because stainless steel pots are good conductors of heat. You know, so it helps your food to cook faster and to save your Yes. So if you have watched up to this point, thank you so much. I appreciate. That means you are enjoying the video. So please, I need you to give the video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please.
help me it doesn't cost you're not paying to subscribe to subscribe to my channel and give you video tons of things so that gets you other people okay so the last number five on my list is get everything you need to cook ready before you start your cooking so this is sound better that way for example you want to prepare your vegetable soup you will have shred your leaves you wash your meats you know steam everything you get everything ready make all what you want to use in cooking ready you already blended your pepper you pound your crayfish you know put everything and let it be closer to where you are cooking your food okay so imagine that you are cooking jollof rice for example you put your rice on fire your pepper is not ready your crayfish is already it's not sliced onion so imagine you're running about your gut is wasting so it's best that you prepare everything ready on ground before you put your cooking gas on okay so i've given you five tips already and i said i have a bonus at the end so this is my bonus now the bonus i have for you is please when you are cooking ensure that your cooking flame should be blue yes that is the best it shouldn't be yellow or any other color let it be blue color that is the best cooking flame so it, that is what will make your cooking faster okay and Preferably, if you have, if you can afford pressure pots, why not? For those that can afford, why not? Pressure pots helps you, your food to cook faster and it saves your cooking gas. So this is what I have for you guys today. I believe you're able to learn one or two things. And please, if you have any other idea that I've not mentioned in this video, please, you can drop yours in the comment section. Let's learn together. So thank you for your time. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe and please share this video so one that person can learn something and please i need to stick around to this one we'll see you in my next video bye for now